Well, hi everybody, and today we're here at Dollywood. Yeah, so guys, Dollywood has reopened, and we're gonna show you, well, what's going on here, and all, the, of course, all the new changes. You have to wear a mask, but you ready, Dawn? We're ready. Let's do this. Well, good morning, everyone. And we are heading into Dollywood today. Of course, a lot of things have changed. Hello. Hello, you got out a reservation? Uh, uh, yes. They're doing temperature checks at the front gate and at the tram stops. Either way, y'all want to go in. Y'all have a great day. So it looks like they're going to be doing temperature che checks at the tram stops. That's something I didn't know. Well, we arrived here in the parking lot of course there's not many people here at the moment uh they are going to require you to wear face masks um so we got them up we were the bus because we figured they're more versatile in case we go on a ride or something it doesn't require them you can just pull them down and they stay around your neck this is new so a will have one b will have one c d so on so forth so it looks like they're taking your temperature and giving you a, an armband, which probably indicates that you've had your temperature taken. Well, we checked. We're good. Look at this magnificent umbrella canopy here. Oh wow. That is just totally amazing. This huge, well, umbrella here made out of looks like moss. And those huge butterflies that are they're made out of some kind of, well, moss too or something. And beautiful. Got this little flower festival shop here. Wow, that's a pretty cool little gifts. Looks like guests for a well, mom over there. Well, they have their flower and food festival merchandise here. 
Look at they got pot holders and the teas and the hats. Coffee mugs. Maybe a couple shot glasses. Oh wow, that one's pretty cool. It's kind of like a a flower pot. Or you can get your own well. Hong Bro, like the ones that are hanging over on Main Street. Oh wow, what's this? Is this a is that a bottle opener? Fridge magnet. Oh wow, that's cool. I'm gonna have to get one of these actually. Of course you have this really cool tea of the umbrellas. That is really cool. So Dawn, what are you thinking about the umbrella canopy? I like it. Yeah, it says really it really was. That's a lot of young umbrellas up there too. So yeah, um, so far there's really not anybody here at the moment. I think as day goes on, there'll be more and more. Of course, we're here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. We are the first ones to come to the gate. And so we're we're just excited. We're excited to experience Dollywood once again. And let the good times roll, as they say. Well, check out this humongous. Wow. It's a huge butterfly. Look at that. That is totally... Well, amazing there. I love Wow, it's, I think it's Dolly's mom quilting or something. Quilting. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And yes. Mark, butterflies. Yes, and the butterflies. Of course, Dolly, what do you got to have butterflies, right? So what do you think about this? I like it. Yeah. It's really impressive. It is, it is. Five steps, you got concept and design, steel fabrication, plant cultivation, filling and planting, and then site, well, presentation. Well, it looks like these raccoons are getting in some trouble <laughs> oh wow that is really cool this might be well one of my favorite look at that Day or nighttime, the Great Smoky Mountains are home to hundreds of these species of animals, such as black bear, deer, elk, squirrels, raccoons, rabbits, and a variety of birds. You know what? It just dawned on me. You get it? Dawned? <laughs> Those are big seed packages. <laughs> well, they grow, well, big flowers. These flowers are about yeah, six foot tall. Check out these guys. Oh wow, that bear is trying to get up in, in that tree there. Oh wow, it's a mama and her two cubs. Okay. 
Oh, look at this topiary art. They call it to topiary, topiary, topiary. I can't say it. Topiary art? I can't even talk with this mask on. <laughs> anyway, check out these bears. What do you think about I all like the... Them. The sculptures are awesome. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite sculpture so far? So far, the bears. The bears here? I like the raccoons too. Yeah, the raccoons are cool. Of course, the umbrellas when you come in was a really good ambience. I like that because they have a lot yeah, of color. Yeah. Well, we're going to walk around to see what else is here. A fly. <laughs> Look at that. Look at these water plants here. <laughs> Gotta get my chicken blessing. Ah! <laughs> yes, and look, he's got his mask on. So yeah, he's oh, safe. He's safe. <laughs> Dollywood experience, you have to ride the train. Of course, we got our masks on because we're going back to the old days. We're going to rob this train. So we're going to. Well, you can see that the Dollywood Express is social distancing. So, like, it looks like every other row is, is closed off. Chris, do you remember the days when we used to pack the train with all people? Yes. Like, 10 per row. Yeah, they'd say slide all the way over. I can say there's gaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. What has the world come to, Chris? Big difference now. Yeah. All right. Now that we're moving, you folks on the back part of the train, wait to buy to our depot master, Barry. So Barry, we'll see him in a day or two. A week at the most. But we have never been gone longer than a week. Alright, it should be about 20, 25 minutes. Here at Dollywood, we're known as the friendliest place in the smoky. So let's all get a hand in the air, start waving. Now the count of three, let's let out a big howdy. One, two, three, howdy! Hey, that sounded good. Can you keep on waving? Of course, everyone needs to keep their mask on as we go up the hill. Oh, and you're right, Scully with no fashion wrist mills. One of the few operating wrist mills left today. 
That's where I am today. They finished making that world famous cinema grand. Hey, look up to the engine. Wait, our engineer. That's Tim up there today. All yeah. right. On the count of three, let's all yell, blow the whistle. One, two, three. Blow the whistle. Well, even though Miss Lillian's Chicken House is not open, we're going to go on the Front Porch Cafe and have, well, lunch. Of course, we just got done seeing Miss Lillian over there. She's, she's hilarious, guys. But we're going to get some food. I've never been to the Front Porch, so we're going to see what the Front Porch is all about. Amber Ways of Grain. So it's got a really cool, like, farm atmosphere. It's actually quite open. Of course, we're here at a an odd time for uh, for lunch, but just a basic basic. Um, and then up here, you got well. That is actually a weather vane as a ceiling fan. That's actually really, really cool. Well, we're here at the Front Porch Cafe and here's their menu. Uh, they have starters here, which is fried green tomatoes and um, a double cheeseburger for 14 and a half. They got country fried steak for 14 and a half, roasted chicken, and southern spinach, spinach salad. Well, they also have a kid's menu for seven, and there's their sides, and they got premium sides for, well, a dollar more. Humongous cheeseburger. So Dawn, what did you get? The country fried steak with green beans and potatoes. Oh wow. And Mindy, yours looks really good. Yeah, it's the roasted chicken. Roasted chicken. What did you get, Chris? The meatloaf stacker with mashed potatoes and green beans. Yeah. And then Ken, you got the same thing, didn't you? Yeah, it's like the Well, that was the front porch. I had the burger and Chris had uh, meatloaf. Our time at Dollywood is running down. And you can't leave Dollywood until you ride Blazing Fury. You guys ready? Really? Okay. Don, your mask is falling off. I know. It's been a long day. Okay, let's do this. Oh no! Nada. Oh no! It's a train! It's a train! Guys, we're home and we had a crazy day. We started at 10 o'clock in the morning. We didn't leave the park until 8 o'clock. Uh, so let's talk about our experience. I know you guys have a lot of questions about what are the changes at Dollywood, what have you. So you saw in the beginning of the video, you got to go through temperature checks and you got to get your little armband. Uh, you got to go through a security um, check, which is nothing more than they started doing well at the beginning of the year. You got to go through metal detectors. Then you have to have your reservation. Now that's something new. Uh, you have to have your you have to reserve tickets 
on the day that you want to go. Of course, you got to go online for that. Mm -hmm. um, and so we scanned a, a little ticket as our reservation ticket. Then we, we, we scanned our season passes. So we did that, and uh, yeah, it was um, it was pretty straightforward. After we got in the park, um, it, it felt somewhat normal. You know what I'm saying? Um, nobody really bothered us. There was like really no more hoops to jump through, other than yet they require you to wear your mask. Now I will admit, about four what you say about four hours into it, mm -hmm. you start not wanting to wear the mask. The mask yeah, starts getting starts kind of. Getting... Um, if you have two masks, I would definitely suggest. Uh, taking two men in one in your pocket and switch them out halfway the day, maybe that might help. Okay? Yeah. Uh, so definitely do that. Uh, guys, the food and flowers or flowers and food festival, anyways, was out of this world. It was actually really, really good. Uh, what did you think about it? I like. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I like the food and flowers and festival. Yeah. Of course, we got to hang out with our friend, uh, Chris about T-shirts, and we had dinner at the front porch. Mm -hmm. um, my hamburger... I think it was just about average burger. Nothing spectacular. Um, you know what I mean? It was. Uh, what did you think about yours? Now yours was good, right? Uh, I got the fried steak. The the the, uh, the, the you had the um, uh, country fried steak. Country yes. fried steak. It was good. It was good. Yeah, and I know Chris and Mindy really liked theirs and everything else. Um, so yes, uh, front porch is pretty cool, um, and uh, it was probably priced about. Um, it was actually pretty decently priced, mm -hmm. I guess. Especially if you're a gold pass holder, you get like a 20% discount. So that really helped, too. Um, of course, we rode the train. Of course, we saw Miss Lillian. Guys, it's always great. We actually saw her all day. Mm -hmm. We are hanging out with her all day. But uh, it was great. Um, so, yes, um, there is some things that are close. They have Miss Lillian's Chicken House. It was an all-you-can-eat. That's close. Um, Aunt Granny's is open, but it's family style, which means they bring uh, a few items out to you. Um, and we noticed that, uh, Ogle's ham and beans is closed, uh, but oh, Red's was open. Red's was open. Uh, there, I would definitely suggest there was long lines for food around like lunchtime and dinner time. So definitely, right. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, um, put that in your mind. Uh, and, and it's very, there's social distancing, everything. So it did take longer. But as for the wait on rides, there wasn't really any no. wait on rides. Uh, the park was empty um, with the 50% 50 capacity. So, um, yes. And so other than that, it was, it was great all the way around. Uh, they have these areas in there where you can um, take the mask off. And they're, they're, they're scattered throughout. Um, so that's really the changes. They have hand sanitizer all over the place. Whenever you get on a ride, they hand sanitize you. Um, and then when you get off, you have the option of hand sanitizing. I guess again, right? Mm -hmm. So your hands will get a lot of hand sanitizer on today. <laughs> they just got to go home and take a shower. Because they require scrub. you to put the hand sanitizer on mm -hmm. before you touch their rides. Um, but that was pretty much about it about Dollywood. Now, guys, uh, that was just one video. We shot multiple videos. Tomorrow, we're going to have another video on Dollywood. And I think there's a video that shows a little bit more. I think it's tomorrow's video. It shows a little bit more on just some of the new things that are going on, social distancing, what have you. Today was just a, a punch to get in there and show Dollywood and what's going on. You know, I mean, the food and flour. Get everybody all pumped up, and then we'll get more into the other stuff. Um, but... That's it. That's so, it. That, guys, that's it from, well, the Great Smoky Mountains. And if you like this vlog, give it a give thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming, well, Dollywood and Smoky Mountain Adventures. And we do Dollywood and Smoky Mountain Adventures all the time. And until <laughs> next time. Thanks for watching.